Hey, it's Angela Wills here of MarketersMojo.com and I am going to show you a second part to another video I did about uh, long tail keywords and setting those up and in that video I promised I would show you how I use those keywords that I collected to um, optimize my posts in WordPress. So this can be a blog post or it could be a page that you create in WordPress. It'll work the same way. So here I am in my WordPress dashboard. This is a pretty new blog and I've been getting some um, decent search engine traffic already. And uh, so here's what I've been doing. You want to click right to write a new blog post. So I was just about to do a blog post. So I thought I would turn on the recorder and show you what I'm doing. So I did talk in another video. If you didn't see it, you can um, search YouTube in, in my channel and um, you'll find it. It's here, just let me show you that first before I show you. Um, it's kind of an odd username here, but it stands for Marketers Mojo 08, but it's M K T R S M J O 08. If you search in there, uh, in YouTube, you'll find the video, and the video is called Keywords in Your Niche, uh, Long Tail Traffic. So in that one, I show you what how I find the keywords that I use in the blog post that I'm going to show you next. If you're on my blog at Marketer, Marketers Mojo, you can also find it on the blog, uh, look in the section Video Tip Thursday, and uh, you should find it there. Okay, so I have my list of keywords here and this is a notepad file that I create and then I save it so then when I need it maybe for um, a blog post or an article, um, anything that I need to optimize for the search engines, I pull it up. So I did this when I submitted this as a video and now I'm just going to use it again when I'm writing my blog post here. So this is a video that I'm posting to my blog and it's about affiliate marketing commissions. I'm just trying to decide if I should, uh, you know what, I think I'm going to put affiliate program commissions because I did use affiliate marketing commissions on the video and I want to make it a little bit different. So. I'll put the title as Affiliate Program Commissions and I'll put that here as well. So something I'll note here is maybe um, we want to make this, you know, not so harsh sounding, although it doesn't sound bad like this, but um, let's just put how to decide on a affiliate program commissions. So that's a, more of a, a, a reader friendly title. It's a how to kind of thing. Um, you want your title for your blog post to be friendly for the reader and then your URL which is right here that it says permalink. You want to make sure that has the keywords in it. So in my um, swipe file here you'll see that I didn't put the uh, searches for affiliate program commissions, but you'll see that's one of my keywords. This these list this list here is my keywords, so um, I'll want to make sure I have that in the URL, and I don't need to put how to decide because that's not necessarily a searched phrase. The whole thing. So that's what we want to do, and um, I'm putting a video here. So because it's a video, there's actually. Oh, I need to get the right link now from YouTube. Um, affiliate Marketing Commissions. This is my video right here. So I, I'm using um, a plugin to put. Stop that video. I'm using. Um, it's a plugin for WordPress called Vipers Video Quick Tags. And. Uh, and that puts the YouTube video in. Let's 
do that again. Okay, so this is just showing up as code right now, but once uh, the it's published, it will show up as a video. And I'm not putting really any content. This is going to be purely a video, but uh, you know, for search engine optimization purposes, content is also you know pretty important. But because I'm being lazy right now, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put um, the video. And also, I don't have a lot of time, so just want to show you this stuff uh, in 10 minutes. So let's. For tags, I just paste um, what I already had in my file and um, basically what the file of tags is here is when I um, do a search and I find some good keywords, I put those right up at the top here and then you use those to create a description and use them to create a tag and then I just go ahead and copy and paste this kind of stuff into WordPress. But You want to use the tags. Um, they serve the purpose of when people are searching on the internet that helps you get found um, if they're searching in place like Technorati they used to be Technorati tags but they're also useful for other things now um, so you want to make sure you have tags and then of course I'm going to um, pick some categories and then this is really important for search engine optimization this is another plugin it's called the all-in-one SEO pack and this is a really great plugin to get because again you know you might not want how to decide on affiliate program commissions as your um, title because what shows up in the title which is the very top blue section of any internet browser if you look at the very top blue section right at the top of your browser you're gonna have text up there and the search engines put a lot of weight on that so that's the title so we just wanna have that to have the straight keywords so that's what we put here so basically this SEO pack is meta tags so right here is a, a meta tag title title meta tag and this is a description meta excuse me the description meta tag and these are the keywords meta tag so it's going to fill those in for you and you don't have to worry about them okay so i'm just going to copy a description that i've written up and the description is based on keywords as well and then I'm going to use my tags which are just keywords keywords aren't really very useful here the meta tag keywords but it might be helpful just so you know what you were targeting although that will be shown also in the tags so keywords aren't really all that necessary because they're not like I said the Google a lot of the search engines don't really look at them anymore so but that's it um, so I'll just give you some information about what I did um, in the previous video I described how I go out and collect those keywords and then I save them in a swipe file and then when I'm doing a blog post like this I just pull up the swipe file and use it but I do it every time every time I'm doing a blog post a page anything on the internet I want to go to my keyword research first because there's no point in putting content out there and I learned this the hard way because I spent a lot of time writing a lot of good content and nobody read it because I never ever paid attention to keyword research so you know um, I, I just want you to learn from my mistake of not really understanding search engine optimization it's just a bad idea to ignore search engine option optimization because there are so many people out there on the internet that you can reach if you take the time to learn that so it's really really important um, so you know once you have those keywords you just want to incorporate them into what you're doing and uh, really important parts are the URL that's something that um, the website puts a lot of weight on or the search engines like Google put a lot of weight on and also the content the tags are pretty important and also the title and you just want to make it natural and you want it to flow so I'm out of time here um, hope you enjoyed the video come visit marketers mojo for more information